It's gone low. Well, we'll get some people on you can introduce them, let them, let them know where we are, but don't give the address away. <laughs> Well, they call it Knight's Lane or not? The House of Sadness. It's known as the House of Sadness anyway, so. Hi, I know that we've got someone watching. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Kerry. I'm being a little bit... Hi, Bookers. I'm being a little bit quiet because the place where we're called is actually known as the House of Sadness and... When you walk in, you can completely understand why everything that belonged to the lady that lived here is still here. Everything. Hi, Jill. Everything that belonged to is still in the house, and so it is. It's like really sad when you walk in. And. It lives up to its name. I'll show you around a little bit if signal permitting. But we're also being very quiet because we're in close proximity to neighbours and out of respect as well because of the nature of the building. There's so much stuff. Everything's just left. No, it's not East Drive Peak. It's known in the exploring community as the House of Sadness. And as I was just explaining, you can understand why, because this lady's house, her entire life, is still left in this house. It's just been left. Obviously, people have been in and ransacked their way through the stuff as well. When I first saw videos on this place, everything was left relatively untouched. It is amazing, isn't it, Lorraine? I'll take you through in the other room as well, but we've got to be dead quiet because we're in close proximity with neighbours and we don't want to get caught. Bear with me because the signal might be a bit rubbish. Try and go as slow as I can so you can get a view of everything. Literally everything is still here. It's crazy. Got to be careful where you put it up. There's the ironing board on the floor. That's twice that's happened to me. I've looked up and seen the clothes in the wardrobe and it's made me jump. <laughs> What was the date on that thing that you just found? 2000 and what? Yeah, the earlier or the, the latest date we've found on anything so far, Pete, is 2001. So, I mean, you're talking a good 17 years. Also, we know the name of the person, so if you could bring anything up. Yeah, oh no, it's, it's Pete Henshaw, oh, not, not Pete Scott. Pete. <laughs> not Pete Scott. Yeah, we're, we're out of respect, we're not touching anything. We're, we might turn things over, you know, to look at them and what have you, but we're not, we're, we're putting everything back, we're being very respectful. This is this lady's life, her entire life. I'll take you in the kitchen. Oh, God. You're standing on stuff all over. Um, Lorraine's asked, does it smell? <laughs> it smells like... The way Katie explained it was, like when you used to go to your granny's house when you was little, if she liked to eat mints, we've smelt a minty smell in here. It's really weird. We we stood outside contemplating for about 10, 15 minutes whether we wanted to come in or not. Look, there's the, the poor lady's walker. We stood out there, looking in. Oh, Pete said hello, Katie. Hi. <laughs> she said hi back, Pete. 
What? Yeah. Yeah. It's on the actual table now. What? Look. Oh. oh, I just knocked a thing. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's dirty. Oh, wow. That was there. Yeah. When we walked back from the You, you there. picked it up and had a look at it, didn't you? Yeah. And then put it back. And then we've come back in and it was there. Weird. Things are going on. Spooky place. Right, I'll take you back in the kitchen because we got so far in, didn't we? I nearly knocked a walk on over as well. <clears throat> there's so much damage and there's glass everywhere where people have smashed stuff. Look, even the tins of beans. Coffee. Everything's left. It's amazing. I'll tell you something else as well. You don't feel like you're alone in here. We've heard bangs upstairs. We heard bangs from in the house while we were stood outside contemplating coming in. Can't replace the boiler anywhere. Literally everything, everything is left here. It's so sad. And the Bible on there, look. Oh my God, the page it's open at. I don't know if you can make that home, make that out at home. The burial of the dead. <laughs> God, that's awful. <clears throat> Obviously nature's taking over and coming in as well. Coffee, milk, two sugars. <laughs> I wouldn't have anything here. Not now. Maybe when she was alive I might have come and had a brew with her, but... Bless her. We're not going to risk going upstairs for the simple fact that Everywhere you look, ceilings are like that. I know people have been up there and there is stuff up there. But um, we're not going to risk it. Not only that, we're feeling a little bit dodgy about being in the place as mm. well. With the, It's got such a, a sad feel, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not nice. It's really sad. The entire... Life of a lady just left in the house. Nobody's touched it for years, apart from a few vandals that have probably been mm. in. But yeah, so that's why we're being a bit more quiet and a bit more respectful today, not laughing so much, you know, not, not taking the mick. It's such a sad place. Amazing though. Absolutely amazing. I think this is the most stuff I've ever seen mm -hmm. left That's in a right. in a abandoned place. Absolutely. And the chairs up on like tins of paint or something. And like people chucking stuff about. Yeah. <coughs> so the stuff's still in like the T V cabinet over there and Phone on the wall. I wonder what's plugged in there. I can't see. Maybe some sort of a lamp or something. Or a heater. But the curtains, look. The curtains have gone threadbare. Been left all these years. And the pattern at the top, look, and as you get down to the bottom, the threadbare. Shows you the age of them. It's an awesome, amazing place. 
like say, um, for those who have just come on, I know Tom is with us. Hey, Tom. And then uh, when we first came in, this card here was on there. Katie picked it up, opened it and had a look. And then we went off into the other room. We came back through here to show you guys what, what's through here. And that card was there. Like she didn't want it to be on that box. So, Ian, you'll recognise this place, Chuck. Oh, look at that. Do you remember them? Yeah. I'm not putting it on, look at the state of it. <laughs> yeah, it's an absolutely awesome place. What's in them cupboards? I don't want to open them because it's it's like you're in intruding. They had voices there. Like talking. Unconscious, I keep looking that side, checking we're not been there. <laughs> yeah, the, we took the board off the front of the door to get in. The board was just, it was literally just lent up against the door. And we're fighting, somebody comes and replaces the board back while we're stuck in here. <coughs> Look. All the belongings. I'm not going to show you too much of the purse cards and stuff because. It'll give it away. Yeah, it's awesome. What do you think? What, in what sense? What about this place? Yeah. I feel miserable. Mm. It just makes you feel really miserable. Yeah. That someone could lose their life and then this just be left mm. as if they were still here. Yeah. Definitely. It's a good place though. It is a really good place. Yeah, it's interesting, a lot of stuff. Hell of a lot of stuff. We did say we weren't going to go live from here, but we we couldn't resist it. We're so excited to get in, but then the excitement sort of overtaken by the feeling of... Just... Yeah, they're just sadness, emotion. isn't it? Yeah, you feel emotional. It's really interesting, that other room where she obviously spent... Should we go back through there for those who haven't seen it? Do you walk in, it smells different. Yeah, it smells like you, like you said, the, the minty Nana's she, house. It's it? like she still lives in here. Yeah. That smell like she's still here. I mean, like, she's got to have been dead, what, 20 years? Yeah. Just no, nearly twenty years. Well, yes, yeah, so seventeen yeah, years. The, the last like, date we've found in here is two thousand and one, isn't like it? Like she's still here. Yeah. But there's just so much. I mean, there's there's so much medication and things like that. Um, she obviously had a family mm. because of all the cards and there's a lot of postcards. Yeah. We're not sure, nobody's sure, I don't think, but we think this might be the lady, obviously in her younger years. Either that or she's a relative of the lady. It's just, just so much stuff. She was definitely a mum. Mm. She's a mum. She was playing one. What's the date on that paper? Can we make it out? November the 10th, 2002. That's the latest date. Yeah. Seen. So now it's like 16 years. We've got it down to. 2002. Yeah. It is, it's just so sad. I've got me a duck because I'm scared of spiders. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the same, but... Because <laughs> I'm filming. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, it's just so sad. Let me show you in the cupboard. Sorry I moved that dead fast. I know you like to look around, but she was an avid reader. I love this little thing here, the little toothbrush in the cup, the toothpaste, it's cute, and the giraffe. <laughs> what, have you found something? I found a photo out of them, but there's no photos in this one. Oh, right. <coughs> yeah, it's amazing. I feel like we're intruding there. Yeah. I feel like we're intruding on somebody's life. And I also don't feel like we're alone. There's a curfew there, I'm intrigued to know if that's what happens to mine. Pick it up and have a look at the list. What is it? What's the perfume? Oh, it's proper granny perfume. So <laughs> the sniff. Don't say on it what it is, does it? Oh, yeah, that's that's eighties perfume, that. <laughs> it just smells of mint, like yeah. Stuff. Such a shame. What's up here? March. 2010, March the 25th, that's the day before Nikita's birthday. There was a big spider in that door frame where we just got <laughs> walked through. Have you seen enough? Yeah, I think we need to leave. Yeah, I do. But before we go, Anne, if you are here, I'd just like to say thank you for yeah. letting us have a look around your home. And we hope you're in peace now and resting. Thank you, and don't follow us. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Right. Sorry, Katie, I've blocked you in to get me out. Oh, oh. I'll show you a bit of the outside, but we're going to have to be very, very quiet while Katie puts the board back. We stood out here contemplating for about 10 minutes whether or not we should go in and once we got in we was glad we did but it's so spooky outside it looks more spooky outside than it feels when you actually get in there hi Kirst There you go, just to prove to you that we, we leave things as we find them. The house is now boarded back up again. Exactly how it was. We've not touched anything, we've not damaged anything, because we're not about that. We're about respect and looking after places. There we go. I don't want to slip my so it comes forward. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll... we'll uh, Go jump in the car now, I think, and uh, say goodbye to the, the House of Sadness. And thank you for letting us in and showing us your secrets. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. There will be some more footage going up on YouTube later. I did some filming before I went live. So we'll, hopefully you can go on our YouTube channel. I'll share it. And we'll catch you soon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye from Katie. Bye, Bye from me. <laughs> Bye for now.